So now I'm gonna work on the upper leg and I'm gonna be doing um, hip rotations into external rotation and internal rotation in order to give myself more control of this top hip, okay? So I'm gonna be in this kind of setup. So this is gonna help create stability. I'm doing it against a wall. You're welcome to do it against a wall if you want or away from a wall if you want to um, challenge yourself a little bit more of keeping your whole body nice and still. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift my leg up to parallel to the ground. Okay, I don't wanna be too low and I don't wanna be too high because that's gonna be really, really challenging for my hips. So I'm just gonna come parallel to the ground right here. I'm gonna try to stay in a straight line as much as possible. I don't want you all the way on the ground, but I also don't want you all the way up. So somewhere in this mid range, okay? Keeping my knee locked out and my toes pointed up towards my head. I'm gonna squeeze my butt cheek and try and rotate my foot up towards the sky as far as I can go. Hold for a couple seconds, really trying to maximize that and then rotate down towards the ground as far as I can. Hold that for a few seconds, squeeze and rotate up, hold. I'm keeping my knee locked out the entire time. My back is against the wall, so I can't really rotate my pelvis or hips. If you're away from the wall, you just wanna make sure your belly button is facing forward and not rotating up towards the sky or towards the ground. So I'm rotating down towards the ground right now with my foot. That shows me how much internal rotation I have. Then I rotate back up towards the sky and that shows me how much external rotation I have. So I'm going to go through about five to 10 of these nice and slow, trying to make it as smooth as possible. If you get a cramp somewhere in that region, that's okay. That's just from holding your leg up. Really try to keep it parallel to the ground the whole time and then really see what your range of motion is. So how far you can turn your toes up towards the sky. That kind of shows you how much turnout you have or how much external rotation. And rotating down towards the ground kind of shows you how healthy your hip is. So if you can't rotate your toes down towards the ground at all, that tells me that you don't really have a healthy hip and you really need to work on that internal rotation because that'll help you gain more turnout, that'll help you gain more hip extension, It'll help you with so many other activities.